Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Cababola Tassile Mondo Fredila Gados. Mako Yala Masheko Sula Bradishi Comredi Sadai. Aya Baba Sena Morati Shaka Brodo Filimasai. Oh, oh, Aya Suna Mreka Sudeke Boradila. I hope you are ready this. Afternoon, this evening, this morning, wherever you are, based on your time zone, the Lord has prepared this day for His children, and this is a moment that we should find the Lord. This afternoon, the race of glory, the race of glory. It is a call to a place of glory, to a place where we commune deity. Ababa Shamburaskati Kopelamande. I believe that you are ready this afternoon. I believe you are ready this afternoon. I can boshe kabandasko benafladila. Oh, we glorify your name, O oh God. We glorify your name. We glorify your name, O oh God. We glorify your name, O oh God. Papa Shakuria Masande Bele Korea Bashaka Baratia Aska Bella Frappa Sia Mandasco Prati Shaka Bateske Mentoria Ba Ai Kapo Sene Mekoria Bashako Rambella Sambreti La Cafasa Lemboria Oh Sheka maso la bela frakaba shanda borati so bele kredi shakaboa. Eli masa lambra di shekora besina man tele korea. Ai kamanda la brasha kabambre ila fena salabaria. Welcome to this afternoon broadcast again. And while you are connected this afternoon, I beg on on you to share this broadcast. I beg on on you to share this broadcast. There is a call unto you this afternoon, and that call is a call to a place of glory. That call is a call of intimacy. This morning, the Lord gave us the word says the, that this month is a month of pleasant surprises and a supernatural encounter so it is expedient and it is required of us that as we come this afternoon that we receive something that is tangible from the law there is a spirit that is able to transform us and that spirit is the spirit of the Lord. I kabashanta koso bela bradila. Please share this broadcast wherever you are connected from. Share this broadcast. Share this broadcast. 
share to your friend, share to your friend, share to your friend, your family. Oh, Mamba Shika Baboria Celebradisha Korea. Ila Masola Basheko Paratis Kobedi Dagadas. Meleko Sibilikrada Sunam Beleko Shia Dai. Aika Basula Bradisha Koroposo Topo Loko Toso Beladish. Aika Baboratisha Koparatesco Benefre Belekadas. Ay babo she karaba sunam brete ko sheke palatiska Ay mam baratos ke petia bashika baboratila Zeke mantora bashika baborates ke benefra baboria Zeke peleko su baradisha kaboria daska Ia babo sha kaboria ske peleko so pele karabashada Ia babashi kababorates ke bebele kotos ke bebeladia. Rababashanta koso bele frabashada. Eli kababashi kababorias ke bene frababoshe ke bebeladias. Eli kababashanta baboratas ke bebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
this is most this is uh, an interactive section between the prophet of God Moses he says show behold I will show you my goodness Ayakaba Shandalia See, I will show you my goodness and I will pass in front of you and I will proclaim my name then I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and then I will show compassion on whom I will show compassion but there was a a powerful moment there was something Moses understood about the presence of the Lord he knew and understood that there is nothing any man can do without the presence of the Lord there was something that made Jesus Christ to come and died on the cross there was something that made Jesus to come in the in, in the likeness of a sinful flesh that he might have a relationship back with man for in the Old Testament from the beginning the Bible said that in the cool hour of the day God usually come to have koinonia God usually come to have an interactive session to have a fellowship with a man called Adam until Adam fell and that relationship was broken that relationship that partnership that fellowship that God normally have with man ceased and because of the love God has for man because of the love that God has built high because there was somebody that the Lord seemed so important because God created us in his image and after his likeness and there was no one else there was no man there was no being there was no spirit that was perfect enough to show the glory of God so man was the only strategy man was the only mechanism by which God show expression by which God show forth his glory man was the only method or the only way that the creation of God know the identity of the one who created them so there was a need for a reunion with the Lord there was a re there was a need for a, a fresh fellowship again with the Lord so God has to humble himself he has to humble himself in the likeness of a man in the likeness of a sinful flesh in the likeness of I am a Shanda Korea back here <laughs> ah no one that Bible says that for who is man that the Lord is so mindful of who is man who is man that the Lord is so mindful of so God saw that there is a need for a fellowship there was a need for the creation of God to know the God who created the universe so he humbled himself he came he died for us he died for us he committed no crime he was a man of without iniquity he was blameless but he but he was blameless but he took our blame he took our sorrows he took our afflictions the condemnation that was made for us the condemnation the the judgment that was made to destroy us he took it upon himself and he took it down to the cross and why am just that just because of the love he has for us said for if any man being in Christ he is a new creature so I I tell you I tell you that there is a call to the children of the Lord there is a call to you to a place of fellowship with the Lord and it is a place where God will show you his glory it is a place where the Lord will say ah for this is my son in whom I am well pleased is a place of justification is a place of power 
a place of glory. So I tell you that the Lord is calling unto us, is saying unto us, Come again and have a communion with me. Come and have a communion with me. Come and have a communion with me. And Jesus Christ is speaking. He said, For no man comes unto the Father, or no man come unto me as the Son, unless the Father reveal him to him. So now God is here this afternoon to reveal his Son, Jesus Christ, to you. So that you might have the revelation, so that you might know what it takes to have a fellowship with the Lord. So that you will know what it takes to be a partner or to be a partaker of God's presence. In Matthew chapter 11 verse 27, he said, All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father. Nor does anyone know the Father except the Son. So there was a time after the fall of man that no one knew the Father again. No man, no one, no God, not even the angels. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the father except the son and he says something he said and anyone to whom the son will reveal so now for you to know the son for you to have this fellowship with the lord it means the lord has to reveal himself to you he has to bring you to a place of partnership he has to bring you to a place where he will breathe upon you that's why the Bible speaking in the book of Job chapter 32 Job chapter 32 verse 8 He said, but there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding there is a spirit in man which the inspiration of the Almighty giveth understanding so for, for, for God to bring you to a place of fellowship, he now has to give up his spirit. He now has to, to fill you with the spirit and that spirit came to dwell in you. That spirit came to, to make you to know the glory of the Father. That's why when Jesus was about living the world, he said, For behold, I will not leave you comfortless. For behold, I go, but I, nevertheless, I will not leave you comfortless. I will send you another comforter that will guide you in all things. I will send you another one, another teacher, another one like me. Ayaba Santoria Basanda Barreada. See, for there is a spirit in man, the spirit in man, that the breath of the Almighty giveth understanding. So when Jesus Christ was about departing, he said, For he said, For behold, I go. He said, But tarry ye in Jerusalem until you are being endured with the power from on high. And in Acts chapter number one, and it came to pass on that day, on that day, I, I, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon them as of clovers of fire. And the Bible said that. And the foundation of the building shook. The foundation of the building shook because God, God, I am a shanda. Because God was bringing man to a place of fellowship. God was bringing man to a place of reunion. To a place of reunion. So he has to fill them with the spirit. Ah, yeah. And he said that spirit. That spirit that the Lord filled us with. That spirit giveth understanding. That spirit giveth understanding. So that spirit of the Lord that was given on the day of Pentecost. It came to reveal the Father unto us. It came to reveal the Son unto us. As I said, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ of glory might give unto us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. In the knowledge of Him. So that the eyes of our understanding might be enlightened into the glorious light that shall be seen in the same. So there was, there was, there was a need for the light of God to be manifested in the life of man. There was a need for a fellowship. There was a need for the life of man to be transformed from darkness into the glorious light. So God has to come and he gave up himself. He gave up himself for that reunion. So I beckon on you this afternoon that you will not sell 
what the Lord has given to you. And Jesus Christ speaking, he said, For I and my Father are one. So if you must know the Father, you must receive of the Son. If you must, Ayakomria Hativa Kambri Hishia Kabatia Salabate. There was something Moses understood. There was a part of God that was revealed to Elijah. There was a part of God that was revealed to Moses. There was a part of God that was revealed to Daniel. There was a part of God that was revealed to Esther. There was a part of God that was revealed to Ruth. Because of the love he had for man. Because of the love he had for us. So he has to come and reveal himself. He has to reveal himself to us. And I beckon on you that for you to see the glory, you must first of all receive from the Lord. You must first of all accept the life that the Lord has given. For the death of Christ on the cross to not be a waste. For it not to be a waste. For it not to be a waste. He died for your sins. He died for your sins. I tell you that there is nothing, there is no iniquity that is so powerful enough that the life of Christ cannot redeem. That the life that was given to the cross cannot redeem. So I beckon on you to come before the Lord, to come to God this moment. For God is calling us to a place of glory. It is a moment of a pleasant surprise and a supernatural encounter. Ay, kabashando robo se pera kadasiada. Kabashanda ore kasina mbrades kababuria. While you are watching right now, I beg on you that you lift up your voice and say, Lord, reveal yourself to me. 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 Kabashi koto peke rotos kebele kanadias. Mababasha kora peko sopele kababasha da. Ekos kababarate she kopradis kebediasa. Eko rabaski di bili kababaratias kababoria. Leko sopra isha kabaparata skabanantea. Ela kabashanda boske bretia farata skabrati shukuria basada. Ma kabapasha karabasia brate koravila brada shanda bokoria. Zeko prakabashanda balako sombredia kabashanda leko sumianda la pradesh. Ela kabashi kabra babarate skobele fradika siya babaratiya. Leko boshe kobobo lotos kebebe lika shanda balako simande bragadas. Lika babasha kababuria selebradisha kababuria. Ika bababarate skobebe leka babashanda brate skobebe bebe bebe. Leko boshe kebebe bebe bebe bashanda leko subaradiya kababali. Zeka babaratis kababaratias kabarates kobed. Ay, masando koso bele kradia salaba. Ele kabasanda koso benakla brada shada batade. Lift up your voice this moment as the Lord show mercy upon me. Show mercy upon me this moment. Show mercy upon me this moment. Show mercy upon me this moment. Show mercy upon me this moment, O oh God, show mercy upon me. Makabashiko subaradisha kababoria daskabai. Do not hide your face away from me, Lord. 
Show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. Ay kapasanda poko so pekete la bragadasia. Ay kapasento skebe na fraba si kaparato skebe ne bradila gados. Ay kaparato skebe le fraba basanda le kosuman de la bragadias. We are the expression of the image of God. So men are to see the glory of the Lord being manifested in our life. The Bible speaking in Romans chapter 8 verse 19 says, For the endless expectation of the creation await for the manifestations of the sons of God. The day we are in is the day of manifestation. And the sons of God must awake, must arise and come to a place of fellowship. They must come to a place of partnership with the Lord. This is a season for us to awake. This is a season for the children of God to awake and come back to the Lord. And come back to the Lord. The Lord whom we serve is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. By beckon on you that you seek the Lord now that it is day. For a time cometh when you can no longer seek the Lord anymore. There is a day of darkness coming. There is a day of darkness coming. So now that it is day, now that the Lord has prepared you, now that you have received something from the Lord, now that you you are having a call into the place of glory, a place of intimacy and partnership with the Lord. I beckon on you that you seek the Lord diligently with all your heart. Seek the Lord diligently with all your heart. With all your heart. With all your heart. I now I, I beckon on you to lift up your voice and pray. Bible says, and ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall become a witness unto me in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and unto the utmost part of the earth. We are called as witnesses of the glory of God. We are called that the, that the light of God should be seen through our life. Yes. So lift up your voice and say, Lord, baptize me with your fire again. And John the Baptist speaking, he said, For there is a one coming after me of which lace of a shoe I'm not worthy to lose. And that one shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Ask that the Lord will baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Without the Holy Ghost, without the Holy Ghost, you cannot serve the Lord diligently. Without the Holy Ghost, you cannot seek the face of the Lord. The reason why you fall many times, the reason why you fall many times through the grip of the devil is because you lack the Spirit of the Lord. You lack the Spirit of the Lord. And in the days that we are in, there is a great attack upon the children of God so that they will not see the glory of God, so that the glory of the Lord will not be so visible in their life. So now that you are coming to this understanding that God is calling you to a place of glory, to a place of partnership, to a place of fellowship, I beckon on you that you pray, pray and ask that the Lord pour His Spirit upon you. That the Lord pour His Spirit upon you. He that is born of the flesh is of the flesh, and he that is born of the Spirit is of the Spirit. It is impossible for a man to be in the flesh and please the Lord, because that which the Lord is giving is something that is spiritual. And you must, you must take up your garments, your spirit man must be awakened to receive from the Lord. 
So for the time come when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Say for God is a spirit and they that must worship him must worship him in what? In spirit. So for you to worship the Lord diligently, for you to serve the Lord with all your heart, you must come to that realm. Your spirit man has to be awake. Your spirit man has to be awake for you to please the Lord. And just in case you are still wallowing in sin, just in case you are still wallowing in all kind of things that will not give glory to the Lord, there is a call to you this afternoon to a place of glory, to a place of intimacy with the Lord, to a place where the devil can no longer have his grip over you, to a place where darkness can no longer elude you anymore. That place is the place of power. It's a place of power, I tell you. I tell you, I tell you, it's a place of power. Kai, Mashaka Rabati Asalaba. So if you are that person and you want to receive the Lord again as your Lord and personal Savior, Jesus speaking in Revelation chapter 21. See, for behold, I stand. Revelation chapter 3 verse 21. He said, For behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, then I will come in to him and he will dine with me. He will dine with me. Jesus is in need of your soul. 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 From Revelation chapter 3, verse 20 to 21. You would I stand at the door and knock. So Jesus is standing at the gate of your heart this afternoon. Will you accept him? Or you will allow him die the second time on the cross again? Jesus once came as a lamb, and we must prepare for the second coming of the Lord. And that time, when the Lord comes the second time, He's no longer coming in His messes. This time, He's coming as a judge over the earth. And I beckon on you, where will you be when the Lord comes? Where will you be when the Lord comes? Where will you be? Where will you be? Where will you be? What is your heart posture now? Is that either you, you are being ruled by God or you are being ruled by the devil? There is no two ways about it. Is that either you follow Christ now or you choose to follow the devil? And God speaks, He For behold, I present to you this day life and death. Hmm. And, and I beckon on you that you choose life, that you may live, that you may live. When you follow darkness, when you follow the devil, you follow a path of destruction. You have followed a path of condemnation. I tell you that heaven is real and hell also is real. Heaven is real and hell is real. Yeah, have you chose to spend your eternity? Have you chose to spend your eternity with the Lord? Or you have chosen to spend your eternity with Satan? In just in case you have chosen to spend your eternity with Satan, I tell you that there is still a chance for you to come back to the Lord. There is still a chance for you. So I pray for you. If you are among those people, say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Make me a new man and a new person. For I have been so far away from you, I have sold you out for nothing, and I have sold out my soul to the devil. But Lord, renew me again. I accept you today as my personal Lord and Savior. Please be a Lord over my life. Come into my life today and make me a new man. Make me a new person. 
make me a new person. I receive you today. I believe you died for me on the cross of Calvary. And now I have received of you, and I believe in faith that I am now born again. Just in case you are part of those that made that prayer, congratulations to you. Congratulations to a realm in God. Congratulations. Welcome to Zion. Welcome to Zion. A place where we are the tardy of the presence of the Lord. A place where we partner with the Lord and the nations of the earth come to see the expressions of God in our life. We are men come to see the manifestations of the sons of God. You are that person your generation is waiting for. Welcome. Welcome. And dear Lord, I pray that you pour your spirit upon them. Pour your spirit upon them. Whatever that is taking their place, that is taking your place in their life, right now I say to them, no more will you have dominion over this one. No more will you have dominion over this one. Fill them with your spirit, make them a new man and a new creation. Say, if any man being Christ is a new creation, for behold, all things have passed away and all things have become new. I decree that your sin is heard no more and it is forgiven by the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Emmanuel Kojo Ebono. And this is a movement that the Lord has placed in our hands. It's a call to a place of glory, to a place of eternity, to a place of immortality. Here all men will come to be an expression and a carrier of the glory of the Lord. And I beckon on you that as you join us, the Lord will so bless you in the name of Jesus. We will be here again on Friday by 5.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. West African time. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. Every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Join us and the Lord will bless you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will bless you. Thank you for joining me. And don't forget to be a part of this by sharing this broadcast. And the Lord Jesus will bless you. In Jesus' name.